Hey guys, Bubba Sawyer here, coming at you with a video. I haven't been making videos in a while, so I figured I'd show you kind of a small update on the truck. The 76 Ford F-150 with a 78 Ford cab and bed. The reason I know inside of the, where the door closes on the cab, it says got a 78 sticker. You got a 78 bed because it has the square gas cap on the other side instead of the round, you know. So yeah, I'm going to be getting a new fender. Story behind this, my dad wanted it pulled all the way up on the trailer. And this much of the vehicle hung off and he had to make a tight turn to get out. Mashed the bumper back, curled the fender. All this before was not like that. So we, we tied it to a tree, my uncle suggested tie the bumper to a tree, pull it out, beat it out with a hammer, doesn't look the best, but they got them online for like 60 bucks for a fender, so I'm just going to get one of them eventually. Uh, did some body work, they was like chunks of, they skimmed over it with body filler, and uh, I fixed that. Just a little cosmetic but whenever i take the bed off because there's a slow leak on the gas when you because i got a can of uh can of gas uh a week and put in it till i filled it up and it was dripping fuel off the top of the gas tank it's a steel gas tank Whew, it's cold guys but uh anyway i gotta get the the, the bed off me and my old man are gonna take the bed off and while I got it off, I'm gonna fix this. This is rusted and somebody has filled it with foam and skimmed over it once upon a time. I'm gonna bond all that. Like I said, it's just gonna be an old driving truck. I'm not looking to make it showroom or restore it back to factory, but I'm trying to just make it look good. Of course, I filled all, fixed all this. Iced over, we had a snow. Hush up over there. And got it. Did all the body work on this. I ain't had a chance to paint it because it's been colder than the well digger. Did body work on this. Took the tailgate off because it's eat out bad. Got me one of these bully nets. Um, don't mind the garbage in here. I have it. This is why I've been working on it. Throwing stuff back here. The. Uh, the only spot that's eat out on the, the tailgate is here and here. I ain't even gonna worry about that. When you come around here, just get sorry, dog barking. Do some work here, here. And then did some work over here. It had a big dent crease in it. Worked all that out. Like I said. I mean, there's not a whole lot to do to this side. I mean, there's a little bit inside the cab. Not much done. I put got me some window door seals. Wonder why the door had been leaking. I looked at my old man's truck. Door seals. You got the door seal plates. Got them installed. Here's the old broken down seat. Got me a uh, console. Tractor supply. The lid was on this side and flipped up that way and I took it apart and swapped it around. Just so used to having a console. I do that. And uh, got to get this situated. Guy told me to use 3 8 gas line. It's missing the other chrome piece that keeps the rain out. Guy told me he had one. He'd give me and he didn't yet to mail it. This little bezel decal and stuff like that. I got the plate to change that back to automatic. I just ain't, like I said, ain't had the time. Been busy. And it is cold. Just uh, waiting on Gene to get me my drive line. I get my drive line back from the shop. His nephew or somebody. Then I put it in there. Oh, and I uh, 
I bought a radiator and stuff to go in this truck. Bought a radiator, ordered it offline. It was $250. And you're like, Bubba, that costs too much. I, I used my Christmas money. I got, I got a new radiator. I'm going to get new radiator hoses this week. And a thermostat, because I believe they, the thermostat is uh, sticking. I truly believe the thermostat's sticking. <laughs> because this damn hose here swells up like a damn balloon. And uh, engine overheats. <sighs> so that's kind of an update. Jesus Christ. I'm going to have to go, guys. It's cold. Thanks for watching.